Welcome to Flash CS5. You're going to learn how to use the basic shapes tool just to make a couple of quick shapes and how to combine them very quickly. Okay, first thing before you start with any of the shapes tool, you, what you need to realize is with all the shapes they will have an outline, which is your stroke color, and they will have a fill, which is obviously your fill area. And also the stroke, just like anything else that when using the pencil tool, will be decided by how thick it is, whether you have a dashed, dotted, dragged, um, stippled or hatched line, your spell, your capping, so you can actually change the capping, you can also change the joins. Now this can be done firstly or you can do it afterwards. I'm just going to quickly use the rectangle tool to show you how it works. So there you are. Now I know it's white on white, but what I can actually do is if I want to change the fill color, you can see how it's hatched out and grayed out. That means I can change my color very quickly. So once I've selected on there, I can either change the fill color here or I can go through and change the fill color from here as well. Okay, so that's a couple of very quick ways of making that change. Now, I can also change individual stroke colors. So if I want to change this just to a green, I can change that. Or if I double click on the line, it'll actually select the line there. So I can change that to green there. So you've got a couple of options. And you can also hold down the shift key and select the lines as you wish as well and you can change the colors that way okay so that's just a couple of very quick things on how you can change the fill color how you can change the stroke color as well now some of the other tools that we have so if you click and hold down we can go to our oval tool okay you can see that that'll create an oval you can make it any shape when you see that little circle it tells you that that's more of a circle okay if you hold down the shift key it'll actually keep it to a perfect circle for you. And if you also hold down the Alt key as well, what it'll do is from the middle, it'll actually draw out a perfect circle. So you've got those options there as well. Okay, rectangle. We're not going to go with that. Uh, we're actually going to go with the Polystar tool just to show you a couple of changes that you have there. Now with the Polystar tool, You've got your same settings if you have there, but what you can also do is if you click on the options section, you can either choose to have a polygon or you can choose to have a star. Now the difference between the two, polygon, I'll just make five sides, just so you can actually see what it looks like. There you are, so there's five sides there. Click again and I'll go to my star. Okay, there's a five pointed star, so you've got a couple of options there. So you can go through and say, no, I want to make this um, a 10 point number of sides, 10, and I want to make that 25 instead. Okay, so there you are, you can see the differences there. So as you go through and make those changes, we'll make this 75 this time, just so you can see what it looks like, and there's your differences. Now, what you can do is also combine shapes, which means that it'll make your life a bit easier when you're trying to make some odd shapes that are a little bit harder. So, we can go through. Okay. Double click on that. I'll drag it on there. Now, once I click and let go, those two shapes are going to combine. So, if I try to move this shape away now, you can see it's left a hole there. So it's important to remember that when you combine these shapes, you've got to be 100% certain that's what you want to do, because what will happen is you'll make these changes, and you won't be able to change them. Okay, so that's something just to be aware of. Okay, that is the shape tool and how to make some changes, how to combine things. And just one other thing before I go, just like we did with your line or also with your pencil, when you actually move between two points, you can see that curve segment there, so you can actually curve lines, or if you go to the point, you can actually move those points along. So just because you've got a basic shape, doesn't mean that you can't actually make changes to it. So for instance, in here, if I want to make all of this just slightly different, so you don't have to always go with the same thing. So just a couple of really quick tips on how to actually make some changes. So that's just something for you to be aware of, that you can make some changes. If you've got interesting shapes that you want to use, I'll quickly go back to our rectangle tool. Okay, easiest way to make a triangle is to use your selection tool, grab a corner,
drag it along there, you can see now that's just made a triangle. Okay, so there you are. That's making different shapes fairly quickly.